Hey guys, it's Jason. Today I'll be talking about the Bitcoin hash rate. Now in my previous videos I talked about how I thought we were going to hit about a peta hash by the end of December. Possibly the beginning of November. People were calling me crazy for calling that out. But, as of today, in a, a day in October, we were at two peta hashes, which is crazy. So let's give some numbers real quick. October 13th is the day we officially hit a two, tera ha or two peta hash mark. September 16th is the day we hit the one peta hash mark. So about a month to get a peta hash. So it's kind of remarkable. It took us almost four years, five years to get to the one peta hash mark. And then in another month, we got to the second peta hash, which is just really showing how many ASICs are out there right now, how much mining power is just dissolving into the ASIC boards. So it's, it's kind of crazy, and I've had all the emails here recently, and I, that's why I kind of looked into the hash rate again, because I haven't really been looking too much at the hash rate of Bitcoin. And I got, keep getting all these emails talking about, hey, should we keep using our GPU miners, or should I invest in GPU miners? If you don't know, GPU stands for Graphic Processing Unit, the um, device that you get to be able to play video games and stuff too. The thing is, is nowadays, you know, officially, you know, even a couple months ago, I would have said, don't get a GPU. Or if you did, get it mostly for gaming and just you know mine bitcoins in the off time. But now I think it's time to officially say it's the ending of GPU clients and the GPU devices. And here's why. I got some statistics. The highest range of GPUs really out there can get about 700 mega hashes. That's pretty high, and those are like the four, five hundred dollar mining boards. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can get them for about 400 bucks or like 395 around that range. So how much is that going to make you? It's going to make you about $6.21 a month. Factor in the electricity cost, the run that GPU, and it's almost running a negative, if not running a negative, depending on if you pay power costs in your area or not. Well, okay, let's say you don't pay power costs, you know, you get free electricity. Well, $6.21 a month, yeah, that might buy you a meal, but what you forget is the excess heat that it produces. In the long term, you know, a two year range, it could possibly ruin your computer. You know, it's going to ruin out the GPU. Is it worth it to break even on a device or to make seven bucks a month? You know, to barely make over a hundred a year? Not really, not when you're spending four hundred dollars for a device. So you might ask, well what about the people who run four GPUs in a rig setup and connect it to a motherboard? Well I didn't ran that too. And that would give you about two point eight giga hashes, which is fairly good. Not so much anymore, but it's fairly good. That'd give you about twenty five dollars a month. Still very, very close to bottom line. Even if you're making, you're, you're getting for electricity, which many of us don't, it's very, very, you know, economically unsound. You're not going to make a profit back. You're barely, you're not even going to make the money of the boards back. You know, the only reason I could even think you would even still be in GPU mining would be the fact that, you know, you're playing video games 95% of the time or more, and you're like, hey, I'd like to make a few bucks, help me buy some games. And you're already using your GPU all the time because you're playing video games, so you know, it's, you know, it, you know the heat's going to be a problem stuff. And you factor in all those costs already. And then maybe if that's your outlook on it, yeah, it's buying you a free game every month or every two months. You know, then then I can understand. But I'm saying GPU mining, it's it's going out, guys. If not now, by the end of December this year, you know, December 31st, I don't think GPU mining is going to be very effective. Unless, you know, you're a gamer and you're gaming 95% of the time or more. And even then, is it worth it? You know what I mean? So FPGA boards kind of out of the range too. I don't really see any of those even out anywhere anymore. It's kind of like either GPU or ASIC mining. So that's just kind of interesting. You know, it's just, I did the numbers and let's say every person had a 700 mega hash GPU. That would be 2,857,000, you know, 700 mega hash GPUs. Ridiculous. The fact that I can get a board that has 10 giga hashes in it or the ability to mine at 10 giga hashes is remarkable. I mean, it is crazy. ASIC miners are taking over. Um, they're here. You know, what I mean, they've they've been here. The only people I don't really even see into me is really shipping them out in mass quantities. Butterfly Labs. They're still behind. As you have, you know, is it KPC miner? I think that's it. KPC miner um, putting the chips on the boards. You have ASIC miners still out there, which your share prices is blown up, or I mean, downward, blown downward. I guess I should say. Went from like four bitcoins this year down to like 0.7. So, but they still have a great product and great returns. Um, but yeah, 
overall point of the video, we hit the one pair hash mark. We hit this two pair hash mark, which is even crazier within a month period. And I think it marks the end of GPU mining as a whole. So thanks for watching.